That's pretty quick, actually. We can copy this and paste it into our solution link and say we've completed it. And just like that, we're done. Hello, everyone. I'm Landish Longin. It's time that we do the file metadata microservice as part of the backend development and API projects right after the exercise tracker. And this one is actually pretty simple. All I have to do is make something similar to this. So if I choose a file, let's say I choose um, the stride sync logo and upload that. Then we see it's an image and it has this many bytes in it and we see the name. So it's pretty simple. We don't have to connect to a database or anything. So that is pretty awesome. And we can open up our starter project using REPL.it and let's import it with GitHub. They also give us a nice hint to use the Malter NPM package. Uh, we can look up what the Malter NPM package does by just looking up, looking it up, and then it'll show up. And we can see that it's for it's a middleware for uploading a single file. And then we can do rec that file and see some information about it. And in this case, uh, if this thing will import eventually. All right, there we go, inside of our index.js file and our package.json. I don't think we, we don't have Malter yet. So to get Malter, we can go into our shell and do npm i Malter, and that will install Malter for us so that we don't have to dig through like what version we need. It will just install for us. And once it uh, gets done, it should show up in package.json. All right, now in package.json, we have Malter, which is 1.4.5 LTS, latest stable version. Is that what that means? I don't know. Anyway, that's all we need. And then inside of our index.js file, we can require Malter. So we're going to go const Malter equals require is Malter package. Um, Malter. And then we also have to do this const upload thing. Upload equals Malter. And then we're going to actually use that as our middleware. And in this case, the API uh, link that we have to go to is uh, we we can know it by going into our views in our index.html. Inside of here, we can see that we have this form and it's a method post to this action, which is API slash file analyze. Also, the name of the file is going to be called up file, which is important. Let's copy this uh, API uh, route and let's do an app dot post to it. Since we're posting this file, um, we can do it like that and then do a rec and res rec res. And then in order to get the file data information out of this thing, we, we need to add a middleware. The middleware goes uh, in between these two parameters, the file or the, uh, the route and the rec res. We do our middleware, which we can check the docs for what we have to put there. It's just this upload that's single and then the name of the file, which will be up file. So let's do that. Let's go back and do upload dot single. And the name is going to be up file. Okay. Make sure to add a comma. And now we can do our res.json. So it's pretty simple. All I have to do is do res.json and the first thing is the name and we can get the name by doing rec.file.original name. Okay, shows up, awesome. Type is rec.file.mime type and the size is rec.file.size. That size, beautiful. And that's basically all this project is. So I can run this and see if it passes the tests. Um, might take a little bit to run here. It's got to install all the npm packages. Oh, here we go. That's pretty quick, actually. We can copy this and paste it into our solution link and say we've completed it. And just like that, we're done. <laughs> if we want to, we can add it to GitHub. Um, I don't know how much value you're going to get out of this one, but we can. Uh, let's just create another repo. FCC um, file metadata. File metadata, create it, and then we can grab our remote origin, go back, and then inside of our shell, uh, where's my shell? There it is, shell. 
I can clear and we have to remove our git file to make it ours. So let's remove this one, our git folder. And then let's do a git init so it becomes ours. And then we can add our remote origin by doing that git remote add origin. And then we can do git add all to add everything. It's gonna ask me to add my, um, my username and email. So I'm just gonna add that stuff quick here. Now, once we have those things, then I can do a git commit dash M initial commit. And then once we have that committed, now we can do git um, branch dash M of main to change it from master to main branch. And then we can push it up. So git push dash U origin main and confirm github credentials and when i go to github and refresh then we have this project in here and it's all mine none of their commits show up and it, yeah to show that it's ours uh, there's the code that we just wrote awesome so we can also add this to the project copy that and inside of here paste the github link and say we've completed it again and there we go so that concludes the uh, back-end development and API projects. So, anyways, uh, if you're looking forward to that, give the video a like, subscribe, and leave a comment, and I'll try and answer anyone's questions that they might have. All right, peace out. Bye.